Hello everybody, this is Isaac from the Nintendo Bosses, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I do not know why that, <laughs> I don't know why that uh, intro is so formal, I'm like, hello, but no, I was, I was planning on saying, what up? But anyway, uh, just to inform you guys, I did do a little bit of stuff off camera, I, uh, let's see here, gotta get my shit together, okay, uh, fuck, can't see the keyboard, okay, anyway, just my mic setup and all. I, um, as you can see, have caught, uh, our... Leveled up, Bulbasaur, two levels, not just a small amount of level grinding, nothing too serious. And I also caught Pikachu, as it is kind of a rare Pokemon to find. So, uh, I just decided to add it to our team. And this is not, um, uh, confirmed on our team. I have already planned out my team, and so I guess this is just a filler. I mean, they are rare to find, so I'm like, okay, why not, I'll get it. But anyway, let's get started. In the last episode, we delivered Oak's parcel and uh, headed to Viridian Forest. And that's an antidote, so I'm not going to get it because I already have two. But uh, um, in this episode, we will be making our way through Viridian Forest. So, let's do it. This guy wants to battle. Okay. Hey, have you you have Pokemon. Hey, anyway, I should be in uh, okay condition here since... Um, Okay, alright, let's go. The text seems like extra slow. But anyway, uh, Bulbasaur is a poison type, so hopefully, um, it, I don't, I'm not sure about, oh, holy shit, that did a lot, that is awesome, okay. Watch, this is gonna poison me just to get back. Okay, anyway, I'm not sure if poison types can get poisoned or not, but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll find out eventually. I do have antidotes, and I, I bought two of them, and I also bought two potions, so, yeah, uh, Anyway, alright, let's go. This Weedle was not too hard as I thought to take down. I, is this... Okay, let me know in the comments if it looks super slow to you. But for me, like, I feel like it would go a lot faster. So, I don't know. And, no, I'm probably not going to use Pikachu, especially since his Pokemon are going to be... Or, well, most of the trainers in here, their Pokemon are going to be at least level 6 or higher. So, uh, Pikachu will not be very effective as it is only level 3. But, anyway... So yeah, I think there was something I wanted to talk about, but I really just can't even fucking remember. Oh yeah, I don't mean to make this like a super serious shit or anything, but if you guys are in school and like you want to know how to fucking um, get uh, like just do your homework, what I recommend you do is like get home, play like an hour of video games or whatever. Like just an hour though. Don't <laughs> don't procrastinate. Like I mean, I definitely did that a lot at, uh, at my last school, but here I just kind of. Um, Oh, fuck yeah, Vine Whip. Anyway, okay, good. We need that for the next two gyms, so I was I was waiting on that. But anyway, um, we, yeah, just do, do an hour of uh, video games, whatever. Do your work, and then get, um... Oh, battle, let's have the talk of it. Let's see how we're doing on time. Uh, we're doing okay. But anyway... Yeah, just do that, don't procrastinate, get it done, and then you can play later. But, um, that's been working for me so far, I've kinda not been doing that today. Holy shit, it's level 7, it doesn't scare me though, okay. Uh... There we go, awesome. Oh, yeah! But yeah, so then just get... Get your shit done. And also, it's kinda cool today, cause I mean, I found someone who likes Legend of Zelda. So far, a lot of people have liked Pokemon. But, uh, I found someone who likes Legend of Zelda like me, and, and surprising, to my surprise, his favorite game was the same as mine. And you know what I say to my favorite Zelda game? Fuck the haters, Twilight Princess is my favorite game. I do not give a shit. Honestly, like, sorry Wind Waker. Wind Waker will always be, no, oh, fuck, I didn't do that. But anyway, Wind Waker will always be my childhood game. Uh, I, I pretty much know that game inside and out, but Twilight Princess, just the storyline was really engaging, and the, the dark side of it was just made the game have more appeal, and everyone, I think the reason people hate it so much is because, like, it, it was supposed to be better than Ocarina of Time, so people were, like, had super high expectations, as generally, like, everyone refers to Ocarina of Time as the best ever, and don't get me wrong, it is a good game, I am not denying that at all. I'm just saying, though, like, I just fucking love Twilight Princess. Like, I went in with an open mind, not even knowing that it was supposed to be better than Ocarina of Time, and I just thought it was fucking awesome. So, yeah, I haven't played Skyward Sword yet. There are actually a lot of Zelda games I haven't even played. Mostly the old ones and, uh, any handheld ones. 
I played for the... Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try to, like... This is... Okay, this is gonna be the last guy I'm gonna try to battle. Everyone else, I'm just gonna zoom by, because, I mean, I don't know. But, I mean, if we were doing okay on time, we could maybe even be able to, like, uh... You know, to reach speed. Because this Harden is gonna be a real cut to us. But anyway, okay. I should call you Kakuna. <laughs> Oh no, that was whatever. Any okay. So yeah, there's Twilight Princess. I found someone whose favorite game was Twilight Princess, so I'm like, fuck yes. So yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna be honest, like I fucking love fall weather. It's probably my favorite season. Well it would be my favorite season. Holy shit, thank the Lord, crit uh crits are good, definitely. Even though generally they don't work in my favor, they work in the other uh opponent's favor. But yeah, fall, I would say, is probably my favorite season. I, I don't know why. I just like wearing um, hoodies and sweatpants. Like, those are my shit right there. But, oh, fuck. I did nothing. That's why I have the leech seat on them. There we go. Awesome. All right. Let's go. But yeah, like, like the cold is nice and the weather is nice. It's a really pretty season. Like, the leaves and uh, changing colors and all. And, yeah, that's about it. Shit. So, yeah, how have you guys been? Pretty good? This looks very suspicious. Why the fuck is there just a random Pokeball? Okay. I'm just gonna say, though, like, what the fuck? Why would there just be a random Pokeball? Alright, I wonder if this guy's gonna be one of the ones you can't avoid. Aha! He is one of the ones you can't avoid. Let's see. Oh, fuck. We have a, we actually have kind of a long ways to go. Gonna check how we're doing on time. Eight minutes already. That is not good. I was hoping to get through this instead of just, uh... Oh, fuck. Did I just go the wrong way? I did just fucking go the wrong way. Oh, motherfucker. I don't have any repels. I don't even know if they sell them this early in the game. Sorry, guys. I probably shouldn't have forced that battle with that trainer, especially since he had pretty good uh, high-level Pokemon. It's not that they were hard, but they, you know, it was kind of a lot to take down. Or, just, it took a while to take down. But, yeah. So, anyway, I do have my team planned out, and I'm not going to use Pikachu for the most part. I doubt it. Unless, for some reason, which probably usually happens, I will, like, start using it, and then I'll get attached to it, and then I, like, can't not use it. And there's the exit, so we might be good. But, uh, I get attached to it, and then I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't, really, I can't not take you out of my party. And that's what happened a lot in my recent playthrough of Pokemon, um, Black 2. I'm like, oh, there were some Pokemon that I just could not get off of my team. I'm trying to think of which ones. Damn you. Pokemon, jeez. But yeah, I'm, oh man, it's bothering me. Like, I had a hard time getting rid of some Pokemon, I think... There were some that I specifically wanted to use, but then I couldn't get out of my game. Oh, shit, bitch! And we have nine minutes, and I think I started about a... I would say I started about a minute early recording. All right, he only has one Pokemon, so that's good. And to level nine, which isn't a terrible thing, but, you know. All right. Oh, you bitch. I swear, you poison me. But like I said, leave a comment also about, like, if poison types can get poisoned. Because, I mean, I'm not totally sure about that. Because I think I've seen it before. But it hasn't been happening. Wow, this guy's just gonna spam the poison thing. I mean, I guess I'm spamming the tackle, but... I mean, yeah, I gotta get through this. We got a fucking audience watching. Well, for the most part, I think you guys are. Fuck. Okay. I was hoping that would level me up. I give. You're good at this. Anyway, I think I said this earlier, but Bulbasaur would will be, um good for the first two gyms, so that won't be a problem, and fuck, another pile of Pokemon. Alright, Caterpie. But anyway, there's something I want to discuss with you guys about this, um, uh, let's play, and that's the fact that I've heard that you cannot do anything in the after game. Like, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys, but I've heard that you can't, uh, you can't play the after game. Like, once you do this, I think it, I don't know if it deletes your file, but, um, it, it, I don't think you can do anything in the after game. I think it might, like, start you at your last save before you beat the champion. Which, I'm, I'm not totally sure. Don't, like, uh, 
totally take my word for it, but anyway. So anyway, um, that's pretty much, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say in this episode, and, um, in this next episode, we will just be heading right on in to take on, I don't know where it is, uh, well, but anyway, whatever, I, I don't have to show you guys, we're running, you know, kind of tight on time, it's over there, it's right there. We will be taking on the first gym, all right. So anyway, until then, this is Isaac from the Nintendo Bosses, and I'm signing out. Till next time, see you guys.